Chapter 21, Second Tier Alchemist Gu Ni Premier Auctions, Wutan City's largest auction house and a branch of Jiama Empire's richest family, the Premier Family. The Premier Family was extremely ancient and had been a quite powerful force in Jiama Empire for a couple of centuries already. Their networks were definitely impressive and some rumors even claimed that the Premier Family had close ties with Jiama Empire's royalty. In the Empire, the Premier family, Nalan family, and Ritter family are the three largest families and have various connections in the commercial and military world. Therefore, with the Premier family supporting it, no matter how enticing the profits of the auction were, no one would dare to try anything against them. Looking at the auction house at the end of the street, Xiao Yan turned into a side alley and quickly put on a black robe. TL, imagine a Harry Potter school robe. The black robe did not only cover up Xiao Yan's face, it also altered his skinny frame to seem a lot whiter. Even if Shui Yar was looking at the robed figure, she would not be able to realize it was Xiao Yan. After being covered by a black robe, Xiao Yan let out a relieved breath. It wasn't that Xiao Yan was being too careful, but rather that the foundation elixir was too precious. For clans, the attraction of foundation elixirs was huge. If someone could mass produce it, then it would mean that the younger generation of the clan would grow at an accelerated rate, which would help the clan further their power and in turn lead to a positive cycle. In order to avoid unnecessary trouble, Xiao Yan could only choose to hide himself. Carefully touching the slightly cold white jade bottle, Xiao Yan slowly walked out of the alley and went towards the auction house at the end of the street. Under the vigilant glances by the fully armored guards, Xiao Yan walked into the auction house without stopping. As soon as Xiao Yan entered the house, the scorching feeling from the sun was replaced with a cool feeling. It made people feel as if they had stepped into a new world. Sweeping through the fancy hall, Xiao Yan quickly found a side room. On the door which led to the room were the shiny words inspection room. Walking inside, the room was quite empty and only a middle-aged man who was obviously bored sat there. Hearing the door open, the man raised his head and, upon seeing the black-robed Xiao Yan, his brow slightly furrowed. But immediately, the expression on his face changed to a professional smile, Sir, do you plan on having something inspected? Yes. Under the black robe, a dry and old voice lightly floated out. It was Yao Lao's voice. Xiao Yan walked up and placed the white jade bottle on the desk in front of the middle-aged man. This is... Looking confused, the middle-aged man carefully picked up the white jade bottle and sniffed it. The expression on his face immediately changed and when he looked back at the black-robed figure, his gaze had a hint of respect, Mr. You're an alchemist? Yes. The aged voice came out again. Could I ask, what, pill is within this bottle? What does it do? Hearing that he was dealing with an alchemist, the middle-aged man asked with even more respect. Foundation elixir, it can increase Dou Qi training speed but only useful for people under the Dou Zhe level. Oh? It can increase the Dou Qi training speed? Hearing Yao Lao's words, the expression on the middle-aged man changed. Everyone knew that Dou Qi could only be trained following a set formula and since the Qi paths for individuals are especially weak at this point, if the effects of the medicine were too fierce, then the chi paths would burst and the person would die. My elixir doesn't have any side effects and the medicinal power is extremely peaceful so it won't cause something like that to happen. You don't need to worry about that happening. As if he could understand what the middle-aged man was thinking, the wizened voice calmly explained. His expression changing once more, the middle-aged man carefully placed the white jade bottle on the table in front of him and respectfully asked, Mr. Could you wait for a second? I need to ask our auctions Gu and I master to inspect this elixir. Sure, hurry up. Waving his hand, Xiao Yan did not pretend to be polite and sat in a chair to the side. The middle-aged man quickly nodded and hurriedly left the room. Sitting on the chair, Xiao Yao remained silent and didn't attempt to speak with Yao Lao. This was someone else's place and being cautious was better than not. Who knew if there were things that could listen in on their conversation? 
After waiting in the room for a little while, the middle-aged man returned with a green-robed elder with slightly whitened hair. On the chest of the elder were not gold stars but rather something like an alchemy furnace and on the alchemy furnace were two silver lines sparkling with elegance. Mr. This is our auctions Gu and I master. He's a three small de douche. At the same time, he's also a second tier alchemist. The middle aged man respectfully introduced the newcomer. Hearing the identity of the elder, Xiao Yan's brow instinctively jumped. This was the first time that he met an alchemist beside Yao Lao. He carefully re examined the elder. The elder had a red face, and even though the green robe seemed ordinary, there were slivers of light surging across it. Obviously, this robe had some kind of a monster core implanted into it. On the elder's commonplace face was an ever-present arrogance, something that all alchemists had. While Xiao Yan was examining Gu Nai, Gu Nai was also studying the person in front of him. Alchemists weren't like doges and alchemists were highly sought after by various forces. Therefore, when Gu Nai was studying Xiao Yan, he was also trying to guess who the alchemist was. The middle-aged man carefully picked up the jade bottle on the table and passed it to Gu Nai. Taking the white jade bottle, Gu Nai first sniffed the sweet fragrance while his old eyes closed slightly. Lightly tipping the bottle, a drop of green liquid slowly rolled from the opening of the bottle to land in the middle of Gu Nai's palm. Staring at the green liquid, Gu Nai whipped out a silver needle and on the tip of the needle showed a slight Do Qi fluctuation. It quietly slipped into the green liquid and slowly stirred. With the stirring of the needle, Guni's calm face changed into a serious expression. Moments later, he placed the green liquid back into the jade bottle. When he looked at Xiao Yan again, his arrogant face had a hint of respect. Turning towards the middle-aged man, he said, The elixir is at second tier. Everything that was said before is true. Hearing that, the middle-aged man let out a relieved breath and excitedly smiled at Xiao Yan, Mr., do you plan on auctioning this elixir? Yup, can you auction it as soon as possible? Hehe, he, that's no problem. Mr., take this and go to the first auction room. Luckily, we're having an auction there right now and your elixir will be auctioned immediately. The middle-aged man smiled while handing over a pitch-black metal card. Okay. Taking the metal card, Xiao Yan didn't wait and left the room immediately. Gu Nai Master, is he really an alchemist? Only after Xiao Yan had left their sight did the middle-aged man whispered quietly to Gu Nai. Yes, he's an alchemist. His agile soul perception, can't be wrong. Gu Nai nodded but his brow was furrowed and he muttered, but where did he come from? I haven't heard of any alchemist that can refine a second-tier pill in Wutan City. Shall I do some research? Gu and I paused before shaking his head, not now. All alchemists have weird tempers and if he notices you trying to dig up his history, he'll have a bad impression of the auction. To be on the bad side of a mysterious alchemist is never a smart move. Turning around, Gu and I lightly said, for him to have a good impression of our auction, you should know how to do that right? Hee <laughs> hee, I understand. Remember, even if we can't become friends with him, we can't offend him either. Or else. Leaving behind a couple of cold words, Gu and I also left the room. Chapter 22 Hurricane Chant Under the lead of an waitress, Xiao Yan entered the already started auction. Entering the hall where the auction was being held, the originally bright environment darkened while thunderous yells poured everywhere. It made Xiao Yan furrow his brows. The auction was huge and the hall could definitely fit at least hundreds to even thousands of people. At this time, at the center of the hall, under a bright light, a red-robed beauty was using her charming voice to describe the item in her hand. Under the numbing and clear sound of the voice, the item that really wasn't worth much had its price increase at an exponential rate. Finding a remote seat, Xiao Yan quietly sat down and glanced at the beauty in the middle of the hall. With his acute observations, he realized that most of the people were here for her and not the items that were being auctioned. Premier Auction House's top auctioneer, Ya Fei. 
she was an extremely famous beauty within Wutan City and her mature charm made many attracted to her. Suddenly, the silent Xiao Yan turned around and stared at a man not too far away from him but hidden in a corner. His arms were swaying with words of Yafei's small red mouth and his hands disappeared beneath his waist. Damn! Lightly cursing, Xiao Yan, who was under the robe, rolled his eyes, this guy is so shameless. While cursing in his mind, Xiao Yan quickly moved away and bitterly smiled. His gaze once again went to the center of the hall and watched the charming curves of the auctioneer while muttering, Yao Jing. TL, Yao Jing is a derogatory, depends on context, term for beauties. After looking at the item in Ya Fei's hand, Xiao Yan lost his interest. He didn't have that much money to buy a piece of junk, even if the seller of that item was a beautiful woman. After tearing his gaze away from Ya Fei, Xiao Yan started slowly looking around the hall. Hey, father? His gaze stopping, Xiao Yan focused in on a middle-aged man sitting in the front row. Suddenly, his facial expression became one of shock, does father have an interest in that woman? The odd thought didn't last long because Xiao Yan had discovered that his father's gaze wasn't focused on Ya Fei but rather was looking into the distance, as if he was waiting for something. Why is father here? Pondering the question, Xiao Yan moved his gaze again. This time, he surprisingly realized that the clan leaders of the other two big clans, Jialai clan and Aoba clan were here. Something's going to be auctioned that attracts all of them. His brow jumping, Xiao Yan curiously touched his nose. What could have attracted all three of the clan leaders to come here? To be honest, the woman named Ya Fei was an expert at creating the atmosphere. Her glances and smiles would make the price of the item go up exponentially for a while. In addition, every time the price was raised, she would send a charming smile to the person who just called out the latest price and they would forget their pain of overpaying for the item. The atmosphere within the auction house was kept at a climax with her smiles. Hee <laughs> hee, everyone, the auction house has just received a new auction item. I believe, that everyone would be interested in it. After auctioning the latest item, Ya Fei suddenly paused and said aloud towards the audience. With a wave of her hand, a waitress quickly brought up a jade plate and in the middle of the plate was a wild jade bottle. This is a second tier pill. With her delicate hand picking up the jade bottle, Ya Fei's charming voice calmed the auctioneers for an instant. But soon, the yells became even louder, in Do Chi mainland, the pills refined by alchemists were the most sought after items. This thing is named Foundation Elixir. It is only effective to those below the Doja level. Training in Foundation Elixir allows people under the Doja level to have an increased efficiency in training. Hehe, <laughs> if you like you son or grandson to be called a genius, this is perfect for you. Her attractive mouth lightly breathed the words and numbed the minds of many of the auctioneers. Foundation Elixir? It can raise one's Do Chi training speed? Lady Yafei, the people in that stage can't take the pressure of the pill right? Even though Yafei was extremely charming, there were also many people that stayed calm and after a brief silence, someone raised an essential question. Hee <laughs> hee, this elixir was personally inspected by our Gu Ni Master and was found to be a second tier pill. There will not be a problem, everyone can be assured of that. Yafei lightly laughed while responding. Hearing that Gu and I had personally inspected the pill, those with doubt didn't question the validity of the pill anymore. Everyone knew that Gu and I Master was a second-tier alchemist. In the entire Wutan city, even the clan leaders of the three clans were courteous towards him. Xiao Yan lazily leaned on his chair and watched the excited atmosphere within the crowd. Letting out a light breath, he thought, looks like this foundation elixir will bring quite a bit of income. Slightly shifting his gaze to his father, Xiao Yan realized that the previously calm expression on his father had slightly changed. 8,500. Right when Ya Fei's voice stopped, a person yelled out a price. 9,000. Another price came right after the first price had been called. The price quickly went up and within a couple of seconds, it got to 13,000. Even though Xiao Yan's father's was somewhat excited, 
he didn't call out a price immediately and instead closed his eyes, waiting for the small fry calls to stop. The price went up again but soon, the voices died out. At that time, an elder also sitting in the first row lightly said, 20,000. After calling out that price, the final voices in the auction died out. Some of the hopeful looked towards that emotionless elder but could only sit back down, disappointed. They didn't have the wealth to be in a price war with the Jilai clan. Hehe, <laughs> Jilai Bai, didn't your son already become a doge? Why are you still thinking about this foundation elixir? A middle-aged man who was also sitting in the first row turned around to fakely smile at Jilai Bai. Aoba Pa, can't I buy it for my future grandson? Jilai Bai obviously didn't like the middle-aged man and coldly sneered at the latter. Let's see if your luck lets you have a grandson, maybe someday your son finds himself without, after silently cursing at Jilai Bai, Aoba Pa also called out, 23,000. 25,000. Within 10 minutes and under the surprised stares of everyone within the auction, the two were like dogs fighting over a meal and raised the price to 31,000. 40,000. The closed eyed Xiao Zhan suddenly spoke up. Everyone within the auction hall went silent and switched their stares to Xiao Zhan. Even Aoba Pa and Jia Lai Bai were stunned by the sudden raise in the price. Hee <laughs> hee, clan leader Xiao. Looks like you really want this foundation elixir. Jia Lai Bai smiled. Xiao Zhan glanced at him and said, If you want it, then just raise the price. I promise I won't raise the price again. Jia Lai Bai paused and thought about the truth within Xiao Zhan's words. Soon, he shook his head since his purpose here today wasn't for the foundation elixir and to waste money that could have gone to that item was not a smart idea. Aoba Pa on the other side, seeing that Jilai Bai stopped raising the price, also shrugged his shoulders. Even though the foundation elixir was extremely tempting, his goal wasn't that. Therefore, he also stopped raising the price. Clan leader Xiao Zhan has bid 40,000 gold coins, is there anyone that wishes to raise the price? Seeing the calm hall, Yafei smiled while reminding the crowd. Since no one has raised the price, this foundation elixir will go to clan leader Xiao Zhan. Seeing that no one responded, Yafei was smart and lightly tapped her small hammer on the table, signaling that the foundation elixir had found its new owner. In a remote area, Xiao Yan didn't know whether to laugh or cry. After so much, he had received the money off of his father. He <laughs> he, next, will be auctioning the final auction item. Placing the jade bottle back within the plate, Yafei waved her hand and the light in the hall dimmed. Bending down, she took out a silver plate and in the middle of the plate was a green, unadorned scroll. The scroll was slightly glowing green and with the reflections off of the silver plate, it was cast in a mysterious light. Hai Xian Level Qi Method, Hurricane Chant Chapter 23 The Scramble The moment Yafei said Hai Level Xian Qi Method, the entire auction went silent. Compared to the foundation elixir, Dou Qi methods were infinitely more valuable. Even though pills were expensive, they were a one-time use item. But Qi methods would last for one's entire life and can even be inherited by one's sons and grandsons. So from a long-term standpoint, a high-level Qi method was much more sought after compared to pills. After all, once a person has a high-level Qi method, even without the support of pills, that person can become a force to be reckoned with after a period of time. On the other hand, if one doesn't have a qi method and only has pills, then even if that person is eating pills like they are candy, he still would not become too strong. After a brief moment of shock, the auctioneers recovered and sent their burning gazes at the green scroll at the middle of the hall. Even the charming Yafei seemed to have been forgotten. Sitting in the back row, Xiao Yan let out a breath. Hai Xian level Qi method? No wonder. The Qi method is an entire tier higher than Xiao clan's top Qi method, Furious Lion's Rage. No wonder that the three clan leaders in Wutan City came here in person. So they were all gunning for this. A Hai Xian level. Watching the motionless green scroll, Xiao Yan instinctively licked his lips. 
To own that scroll would basically mean that they have a pass to become a top doge and after a few decades, there would be a new force that would rival the three clans in Wutan City. It's only a high Xian level Qi method, what's so special about that? Right when Xiao Yan was fantasizing about the Qi method, Yao Lao's voice awkwardly sounded within Xiao Yan. Only. Rolling his eyes, Xiao Yan felt that there was a huge gap between him and the old geezer that would claim top tier Qi methods were trash. He could only purse his lips and remain silent. Brat, just keep on training. The day that you become a doge, I'll let you see what a high tier Qi method is. After Yao Lao finished his thought, he became silent again. Pursing his lips again, Xiao Yan muttered, I hope so. Everyone, this Xian level Qi method was found by a hunter in the mountains. It must have been left behind by an ancestor so it won't bring anyone any trouble after they buy it. Everyone can bid without fearing that there may be consequences. Yafei carefully held up the green scroll and lightly said. Lady Yafei, can you set the bottom price already? One of the auctioneers impatiently yelled out. Keeping her charming smile, Yafei said, Hurricane Chant, bottom price, 200,000 gold coins. After she called out the bottom price, the auction house became visibly quieter. Obviously, a lot of the auctioneers didn't have the wealth to buy such an expensive item. In a remote region, Xiao Yan couldn't help but shake his head. This woman kills people without spilling blood. 200,000 gold coins is equal to the profits of Xiao clan for an entire two years. TL, killing people without spilling blood means to indirectly kill someone, something like I leave a huge cliffhanger at the end of this chapter of course that won't happen. Xiao Zhan and the other two clan leaders visibly shivered. But they could do nothing about the price, for something as valuable as this, they would be willing to pay such a high price to obtain it. Even if they didn't want to buy it, someone else would. Under the 200,000 price, no one bid at all. Facing the awkward atmosphere, Yafei kept her charming smile. She knew that the attraction of this Qi method was so huge that people would be willing to use their entire fortune to buy it. Just like her prediction, the lack of bids didn't last for long. A nearly bald middle-aged man shakily yelled out, 210,000. Xiao Yan looked towards the voice, he knew this bald middle-aged man. The bald man was the owner of a weapon shop that nearly monopolized the entire weapons market in Wutan City. Even though he couldn't compare to the three clan leaders, he was still quite powerful. 230,000. Right after the weapon shop owner yelled out his price, a yellow-robed elder also called out his price. The yellow-robed elder was a huge medicine merchant that owned quite a few shops in Wutan City. Like the middle-aged man, he couldn't compare to the three clan leaders but nevertheless, he was quite powerful. Giving an evil eye to the elder, the bald middle-aged man yelled out again, 240,000. Within the auction house, there were only a few bids. After all, the 200,000 price was enough to bar the majority of auctioneers from bidding. 300,000. Right when the previous two were about to quit bidding, Jia Lai Bai in the first row finally called out his bid. After Jia Lai Bai called out his bid, the two helplessly backed down. 330,000. In Wutan City, the only people that could rival Jia Lai clan were Xiao clan and Aoba clan. This price was called out by Aoba clan's clan leader, Aoba Pa. Coldly glancing at Aoba Pa, Jia Lai Bai coldly said, 350,000. Aoba Pa forced out, 370,000. 380,000. 400,000. Under Aoba Pa's continuous raises, Jia Lai Bai followed without hesitation. It seems like he was prepared to get the scroll at any cost. When the price got to 430,000, Aoba Pa had to stop bidding. 430,000 was enough to force the powerful Aoba clan into a financial crisis. 450,000. Seeing Aoba Pa back down, Jia Lai Bai didn't have a chance to celebrate before Xiao Zhan's bid his price. Coldly staring at Xiao Zhan, 
Chilibai was full of rage. In the three clans, Xiao clan and Aoba clan had middle Xian level Qi methods but Chilibai clan only had a low Xian level Qi method which is why Chilibai was willing to pay any price to get this high Xian Qi method. Under the gleeful look of Aoba Pa, Chilibai clenched his teeth and spit out, 460,000. 500,000. The impassive Xiao Zhan raised the price to a whole new level. At the center of the auction hall, watching the two fight over the bids, Ya Fei's beautiful smile became even more charming. 550,000. His eyes red, Jia Lai Bai finally decided to raise the price again after a brief pause. You've won. Contrary to everyone's predictions, after Xiao Zhan heard Jia Lai Bai's bid, Xiao Zhan only smiled and taunted Jia Lai Bai. The surprise in Jia Lai Bai's expression was quickly replaced with a dark face. The rational side of him knew that he had been played. Xiao Zhan, you win. I'll remember this. After cursing at Xiao Zhan, Jia Lai Bai raised his head to look at the stunned Ya Fei. Even though he was extremely angry, he wasn't one to be dictated by his emotions and with a dark face suppressed his emotions, Lady Ya Fei, should the auction end? Not changing expressions because of Jia Lai Bai's angry stare, Ya Fei calmly smiled. Her eyes contained a hint of ridicule and under the tense stare of Jia Lai Bai lightly tapped the hammer in her hand. Hurricane Chant, won by Jia Lai clan leader. Seeing the final moments of the auction, Xiao Yan smiled and slowly got up, leaving the auction house. Ha, once I get the money, I'll start training. One year later, I need to give father a surprise. When he was at the doorsteps of the auction house, Xiao Yan lightly muttered. Chapter 24 Everything for Later Leaving the first auction hall, Xiao Yan returned to the inspection room and under the respectful gaze of the middle-aged man, patiently waited. A few minutes later, with a flurry of footsteps, two shadows pushed the door open. Hee <laughs> hee, are you the owner of the foundation elixir? Mister, this must be the first time you've come to Wutan City right? With a gust of perfume, a charming yet numbing giggle sounded beside Xiao Yan. It made his firm mindset waver. After cursing Yao Jing, Xiao Yan furrowed his face further within the robe before turning around to look at the red-dressed woman besides him. With close contact, Xiao Yan once again realized the charm within Ya Fei. On the dazzling face was a pair of watery eyes with long eyelashes that seemed to always send out strands of binding ropes to men. Looking down, past the graceful white neck, Xiao Yan was almost sucked into her cleavage. Her natural charm even influenced the calm Xiao Yan. Although Xiao Yan had a red face, thankfully, it was covered by his robe. Calming himself, Xiao Yao slightly nodded and at the same time, Yao Lao's voice also floated out. The auction was successful. Give me the money, I have something to do. As if she was intrigued by the age of the owner of the black robe, Ya Fei covered her mouth as she laughed. After a while, she recovered, please excuse us for a little while longer. We're still working on the paperwork. Slightly nodding, Xiao Yan didn't open his mouth again and moved his sight from Ya Fei while keeping silent. Looking at the mysterious person covered in the black robe, Ya Fei's brows furrowed. Looks like her prideful beauty had no effect. Pursing her lips, her gaze swept over the mysterious person, trying to discern every single detail in order to find out who she was dealing with. After sweeping through Xiao Yan and not getting any information, Ya Fei disappointedly looked at Gu and I. After their eyes met, she bit her lips and asked, Mr. Ya Fei has rarely seen an alchemist that doesn't have the alchemist badge. Could I ask for your name? Hey? Girl, coming to this place means that I need to say who I am? Under the black robe, Yao Lao's voice coldly spoke up. Hee <laughs> hee, Ya Fei was only curious. If Mr. doesn't want to say it, Ya Fei wouldn't force you. Ya Fei lightly laughed. Through the black robe, Xiao Yan watched the white legs wrapped in a red dress besides. Even though he couldn't help but admire her beauty, he silently reminded himself that for Ya Fei to become the top auctioneer, she wasn't some flower pot. Everyone said that beauty was trouble, after all, 
in the entire Wutan city, there were countless suitors but even to this day, none of them achieved their goal. Even though many of them blamed the primer auction house behind her, none of them would claim that she was a pretty flowerpot. With such a clever woman besides him, Xiao Yan was as careful as if he was walking on top of ice. He was afraid that Ya Fei would discover something from him but thankfully, with Yao Lao talking, the mysterious geezer wouldn't be charmed by the Yao Jing besides him. From Yao Lao's impassive words, Ya Fei wasn't able to find any information. In the end, she gave up on trying to find new information and instead smiled while taking out a crystal card. On the card was the Primer family logo, Mr. This is the Primer Auction House's VIP card. With this card, you can receive VIP treatment at any Primer family auction house. At the same time, the taxes that the auctions take would go from 5% to 2%. Hearing that, Xiao Yan's brows jumped. Compared to the blabber before, he liked this kind of solid benefits, so after pausing for a while, he took the crystal card. Seeing the long and pale hand out of the back robe, a glint of confusion flashed across Ya Fei's eyes. The voice from the person under the black robe was obviously the voice of an old man but he has a hand that looks like a young man. This person, who is he? At this time, a waitress ran in and courteously handed a green card to Ya Fei. Mr. The foundation elixir sold for 40,000 gold coins and taking out 2% as auction fees, the rest is in here. Ya Fei smiled while handing the green card over. Taking the green card, Xiao Yan's tense heart fell. The funds for his training were inside that tiny green card. 40,000 gold coins, that would be enough to train to a dojet. Since he already got the money, Xiao Yan didn't have any more reason to stay and after carelessly pushing his hands together, a wizened voice calmly said, I can leave now right? Hee <laughs> hee, of course. If you would like to auction off any more pills, please keep the primer auction house in mind. Ya Fei smiled. M.M. Carelessly responding, Xiao Yan stood up and left the tense room. Watching the disappearing shadow of Xiao Yan, the smile on Ya Fei's face slowly disappeared and she plopped down into a nearby chair. Gu Nai Shu Shu, is he really an alchemist? After an awkward silence, Ya Fei broke the stillness. Yeah, and his alchemy skills are better than mine. That second tier foundation elixir, I can't refine it. Gu and I answered while sighing. Even with the formula? Slightly wincing, Ya Fei's red mouth carelessly let out a dangerous sentence. Hearing Ya Fei's words, Gu Ni's face changed and he hurriedly said, A formula is an alchemist's life. Please don't think that again. To carelessly anger a mysterious alchemist, even for the Primer family, is a huge deal. A couple dozen years ago, the famous Sek family of Jiama Empire enraged Pil King Guhi and was annihilated by four Douwangs that Guhi sent. Even the Jiama Empire's royalty wouldn't control the matter. Even though our family is much stronger than the Sek family, it's best not to offend some mysterious alchemist. Alchemists are like a hornet's nest, once you poke it, he'll find countless friends and many experts would love to have an alchemist owe them a favor. Watching the panicking Gu and I, Ya Fei bitterly smiled while massaging her forehead, Gu and I Shu Shu, what are you saying? I wasn't thinking any of that, do you think that Ya Fei has wasted these few years? I was reminding you. Hearing Ya Fei's words, Gu and I let out a breath. He was really afraid that she would do something stupid. Pursing her lips, Ya Fei propped up her cheek while sighing. Alchemists, they really are some dangerous people but why don't I have such a talent? Chapter 25, I'll pay for it. After he sneaked back into his room, Xiao Yan quickly closed the door and went to the corner of the room, before finally taking out a bunch of medical herbs and magic crystals. He carefully placed them in the cabinet and deeply sniffed the smell of herbs as he smiled with relief. To practice uninterrupted, Xiao Yan had purchased the amount of herbs needed for eight months of usage, allowing him to practice non-stop for the rest of the year. As he affectionately patted the cabinet, his lips cracked open and he lazily goes on the side of his bed, putting his head down. 
today's activities had made him really tired. Yan Er, are you there? A mumbled voice and a knock passed through his door. Opening his blurry eyes, Xiao Yan hurriedly jumped out of his bed, then opened his room's door, looking at Xiao Zhao outside of the door and asked, Father, do you need something? Can't I see for you even if I don't need anything from you? You kid, you hid from me for two months. Xiao Zhan reprimanded as he rubbed Xiao Yan's head affectionately. Looking at Xiao Zhan's warm smiling face, Xiao Yan's was moved as he pumped his sore nose, not knowing what to say. Are you still feeling responsible for that? Haha, <laughs> if she can't take a liking to my son, it is her loss. You don't have to be sad. Why should a great man act like a little kid? I know that this son of Xiao Zhan, is not a cripple. Xiao Zhan boldly said. Ha ha father, after three years, Yan Er will go to the faction of Misty Clouds personally. Xiao Yan said in a soft voice with a smile. Xiao Zhao's smiling face became more serious, as he stared at Xiao Yan. After a while, he said with some hesitation, Father feels fine, but, are you really going to? Father isn't saying that you can't reach Nalan Yan Ran, but the strength of the faction of Misty Clouds. Xiao Yan smiled as he nodded, his thin lips forcing a somewhat stubborn line, Father, that there are some things, that as a man, I have to bear. Aha, this temper of your resembles mine much, if your two big brothers knew that you thought like this, they would probably be very happy, towards Xiao Yan's dedication, Xiao Zhan smiled pleased before sighing and nodded heavily, good, father waits for his son to give him some face, I want the old bastard Nalan Shu to beg me to remake that marriage promise. Xiao Yan nodded and couldn't help but laugh. Hey, I'll give you this, consider it as your father's support. He handed to Xiao Yan a very familiar white bottle. Looking at this elixir that went back to his own hands, Xian Yan didn't know whether to laugh or to cry. But on his face, he maintained a puzzled expression, Father, this is Foundation Elixir, it'll accelerate your Dou Qi cultivation, I just bought it today. Xiao Zhan's mouth smiled. You must have spent a lot of money for this right? As he received the white jade bottle, Xiao Yan's heart felt warm. 40,000 gold coins, but if it can be of use to you, it is worth its price. Xiao Zhan smiled as though he didn't care. You spent 40,000 gold coins for buying me this foundation spirit elixir? Won't the elders perhaps cause trouble to you using this excuse? Xiao Yan smiled bitterly. TSSK, I am the clan leader, they can at most utter some words. Xiao Zhan said coldly. Father, thank you, during the adult ceremony in one year, I will make them shut their mouth completely. Xiao Yan calmly laughed as he said that. Good, I am waiting for my son to transform once more. Although he didn't know from where Xiao Yan's confidence came from, Xiao Zhan was very happy seeing his son's confident appearance. All right, I won't disturb your rest. If there are any problems come and see your father, as a family member. I cannot let you be disgraced. Waving his hand, Xiao Zhan turned around, as he took big strides leaving the front yard. Shit, I also have to face these old fools now. I only spent 40,000 gold coins, but they will act like I had spent the money that was supposed to be used for buying their coffins. From the night, Xiao Zhan's mutters floated to Xiao Yan. Looking at his father vanish into the darkness, Xiao Yan touched his nose and smiled while saying in a low voice relax, Father, I will use reality to make these people quiet. Three years before, I could make them look up at me, three years after, I will still be able to. After standing at his door for a while, Xiao Yan put away the white jade bottle. Then, he shot a look at the corner of the room, teasing, Girl. Is it fun to eavesdrop on people? Xiao Yan GG, that was keen from you. From the corner, a pretty young girl wearing a purple skirt came out elegantly. Leaning her little head, a big smile was revealed on her beautiful face. Looking at the mischievous girl's face, Xiao Yan helplessly shook his head. Where did Xiao Yan GG go this afternoon? 
Suniyar came forward, walked up lightly and asked with a smile. I was just on a little stroll. Is that so? Her eyes looking up and down, Suniyar suddenly took a step forward and bent slightly. Her nose wrinkled while she said, I smell the fragrance of a woman. Cough, come on, why would I have a woman's fragrance? Xiao Yan's immature face suddenly blushed, but in the dark, his as well as the girl's face couldn't be seen clearly. He he. Seemingly liking this predicament Xiao Yan was in, Sun Er laughed and a moment later, stopped laughing. Before quietly saying, a moment ago, I also heard Xiao Xu Xu's words, I believe that Xiao Yan ge ge, yup. In the future, you really want to go to the faction of the Misty Clouds, Sun Er will come with you, to help you. Hearing this, Xiao Yan blinked and tightly stared at the young girl's beautiful small face. Under Xiao Yan's unrestrained vision, Sun Er's her face flushed a little from shyness as she whispered Xiao Yan ge ge, what are you looking at? He <laughs> he, Sun Er can also blush, such a rare sight. Xiao Yan unexpectedly said with a smile. Sun Er coldly glanced at Xiao Yan and she muttered under her breath, and you can also glance at people this way. Good, good, have confidence in GG, although the faction of Misty Clouds is formidable, I am still young. This union who spoils that girl Nalan Yan Ran, definitely isn't too great of a teacher. Xiao Yan smiled as he rubbed the black hair of the young girl. Well, it is late, head back for a rest. Looking at Xiao Yan waving, Sun Er shakes her head reluctantly. And went into the darkness under his sight. After turning a corner, sounds could be heard from a quarrel between Xiao Zhan and the several elders. The topic of the quarrel, how the 40,000 gold coins were used. Stopping, Sun Er's little eyebrows wrinkled and she lets out a small sigh while a purple card appeared between her slim fingers. Her fingertips flicking the purple colored gold card, making the purple gold card flash into golden light as it soared towards the room where the elders are quarreling with Xiao Zhan. The room suddenly became silent while Sun Er faintly said, This is the money for the Foundation Elixir. In this card there are 100,000 gold coins, now that I've given you this, I hope that you elders won't continue to give Uncle Xiao trouble. The room was completely silent before the yes acknowledgements from the three elders came through.